Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another video. Um, firstly, I want to apologise because the lighting is not very good. It's focusing well on my face, so hopefully this doesn't go too badly, but it is so gloomy outside and I've been waiting for a sunny day and it's just not coming around, so I'm really, really sorry if the lighting's not very good in this video. I was going to turn my light on, but it just, it just doesn't look right, so we're just going to leave it natural lighting and hope for the best. Um, as always, which you always know by the title anyway, it's a my protein unboxing. I'm really sorry that these are all that I seem to be filming at the moment. Um, in lockdown, I've still been working like all the way through, so it's not like I've had extra time and I've been working like more hours than normal. I also wanted to say before I open this box, I've literally, I don't know like where I'll be by the time this video goes up. Hopefully it'll go up quite soon and I'll get my app together, but I've just hit 100k on Instagram and I just want to say a massive thank you because I know a lot of you are from my Instagram and a lot of you come from my YouTube to my Instagram so thank you so much like what a big number it's a bit weird like really weird <laughs> anyway we'll just I literally haven't even opened the box this month I've just been like so busy so we'll get straight into it embarrassing sorry about that I don't have scissors, so I'm using my car key. Oh, there we go. Right. I think all the clothing is at the bottom, so we'll do supplements first. Now, I always kick myself every single month because I don't get samples of protein, and then I end up buying a massive box of the protein because I haven't tried it, and then what do you know? I might not like it. So, we have a load of samples. Um, I got just samples that I thought I'd like, but I can't bother buying a big bag, and then I'm too, like what's the word i'm too much of a hoarder to get rid of it i feel like oh maybe i might like it in two weeks like never the case and it just sits in my room so i bought samples so i could try so there's a lot of impact way just the normal way so there's chocolate mint uh raspberry oh, strawberry jam roly-poly i heard this is really good but like i said don't know if i will actually like it or not um, latte flavour because as you'll know if you've watched my other videos or follow me on Instagram I have the coffee caramel flavour that is incredible so good I've almost finished that bag actually like and that wasn't bought that long ago so I really like that one Um, so I got latte flavour because I thought if I do like it it's not sweet enough I can have like vanilla drops in it flavour drops do I have vanilla I don't actually know maybe I've got toffee anyway so toffee latte do you know things like that um, chocolate orange, they're just ones that you know is a bit, you don't want to get a big bag because, well, you like them. Rocky Road, so that's like marshmallowy, chocolatey, well, it's supposed to be anyway, but we'll see. Banana, um, and white chocolate, apparently the white chocolate is amazing, but they only sell like massive bags of some of these flavours and you just don't want to be in that situation if you don't like them. So if I do like any of those flavours, what I'll do, I'll link them below. And if I have a chance, I'll put it on screen. If not, I'll put it like next to the link of what I thought they tasted of, like out of time. And then I got um, some Clearway samples as well. So I've tried the orange mango Clearway, which I absolutely love. Um, so I like that. I got the mojito as well. And to begin with, I liked it. But the more I had it, the less I liked it. So I was a bit unsure. I got peach tea. Now, I don't like iced tea. But I seen someone put it on their story and they were like, it, it tastes like juice, like it tastes like an act. I don't know, so the sample, if I like it, I'll buy a big tub and if I don't, then I'll get rid. And then I got the, they do um, Clearway protein now, the vegan one even, they do vegan Clearway. So they have lemon and lime flavour, is it lemon? Yeah, lemon and lime flavour, which I think I'd really like, but the sample was out of stock. And this is strawberry. The only thing is, um, a sample of this is only 10 grams of protein, whether the, and this is 20. But what I do is, I if I bought, if I like this, I bought a big tip, I just do two scoops of this to get the 20 grams, because the calories are the same. Like, that is um, 84 calories for 20 grams of protein, and this is 50 calories, I think. Or is it? 57 calories for 10. So, like, these are a bit more, but it's not a massive difference, so... If I did like them, I definitely 
grab a big tub and just use two scoops. So I think I'd go through the vegan one a bit quicker, but strawberry and lemon and lime flavour to Sambrel. I think that was all the samples, so. Oh, I've seen this on um, Laura Rose's story. It's protein hot chocolate. They don't do samples, so I got a big bag, so I'm hoping I like it. But it's literally like, it is protein hot chocolate. I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, but it's only 84 calories and it's got 14 grams of protein in, which is really good macros. So I, like most of the time, I save up my calories and I have like an, do you know the options hot chocolate? They're only like 40 or 50 calories for it with water. So I definitely just do that with this. And if it's got protein in it as well, that's like a great thing because I have it like before bed at night, just as like a snack to fill me up a bit after my dinner because my sweet tooth is always like telling me I'm hungry and I'm not. And so I have like a hot chocolate and maybe I'll have like, a biscuit or a bar or something with it so I'm looking forward to trying that and like I said if I have tried it by the time this goes up it'll be on screen of what I think of it out of 10 so yeah I'm really excited to try that oh it's gluten free as well that's good isn't it what's this oh <laughs> something else I saw on Laura Rose's story it's just sweetener like powdered sweetener so it's just a bit different it's just like the flavour drops but in like sugar form doesn't make sense like it's not like a liquid it's i think has it got a scoop in there oh no it doesn't um but it's just to sweeten things up like you can obviously add it to coffee it's literally just sweetener but i thought it'll come in handy for something so i grabbed that i ordered the protein meg cake this is natural chocolate natural chocolate i thought it was golden syrup flavor Okay, they only had one flavour anyway, so I don't know if it was the natural chocolate or the golden syrup, but I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, so it's 182 calories and it's 25 grams of protein. Again, really, really good macros. I think you only just add water to it. So, and obviously like in the microwave. I really, really am excited to try both of them, like the hot chocolate and the mug cake. I just hope I like them because it's such a big bar. That looks like that was all of the supplements so we're just on to clothing now oh shall i just this t-shirt um this is the essential crop t-shirt i didn't order this in my monthly box and um, they sent me this as like the monthly clothing drop they do them sometimes so um it's called the essential crop t-shirt but it's i just want to show you that it's not cropped at all this is size medium i could definitely go into a small but i like the medium because like it's a bit oversized but they do it in black, red and white. Really, really cheap. It's only like £8 something with my code. So I will link it down below. But um, it's not a crop. Like, it's not full, full length. But it more or less is. Like, I wouldn't call it a crop. I don't think they've called it the right thing. If that makes sense. But um, the material's like so soft. I think I'd probably wear it more for like lounging like I'm doing now. Because it's just like the loungewear kind of material. I don't think I'd wear it to the gym. Because not that it's thick. But it's like... It's just such a luxurious um, material. Sorry, I look like weird. Such a nice material. So, oh my God, I spilled food on it at the bottom. Glad you can't see that. But yeah, I just like it. It's just like simple and it's just a nice comfy fit. But yeah, like I said, I don't think I'd wear it for like the gym. Just because I've got plenty of gym clothes. So I think this is more like a lounge piece. Oh my God, they've sent me these in a size large. I'm going to go absolutely mad. That's really annoying. Now I'm really annoyed because I know I'm... Okay, so I'll tell you anyway. They're the curved leggings in brindle colour, which is like a khaki colour. You can see that. Um, I ordered size medium and when I got this clothing drop, I also got a pair... I'll get it. I'll get them in a minute. A pair of these leggings in another colour and they sent me them in a size medium. And they sent me the shorts version in a size small so basically, I should be a size small, but I ordered a size medium because I just can't get my head around the fact that I've lost enough weight to get into a size small. But these are a size large, which is a pain. I might just try on the other ones so you can see what the medium looked like and the large. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of these, but they're just so nice. I do really like them, um, but I'll have to get in touch with my protein. This has never happened before, to be fair. They're just, it's the new curve leg. They're not new, like they've come out before. Um, but these are the new colours and this is the khaki one, it's really nice. It's a thick, thick waistband which does hold you in and it doesn't like 
push you in in the wrong places. I don't, I don't personally think so anyway. But they're so similar to the Gymshark Flax leggings. So they're just like that, just simple. And you have the contouring around the bim and the calf. So this is like the danger, it's like a coral really hot pink red, I do really like it and um, this is the size medium so I'll try these on. Then here is the curved leggings, these are the ones that like I said I got in the clothing drop and not the monthly box. Um, this is the medium, the medium do fit me, the only thing about the medium is the spare material here, not something that I'm massively bothered about because um, it's not like a camel toe, there is no camel toe, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I love the waistband. This one does fit me. I'm not saying the medium don't fit me, it's just the small is a better fit because there's not really any spare material. So if you are in between sizes, you could size up, definitely. They are a bit small fitting. But yeah, um, love the thick waistband. Really, really holds you in, in the right places as well, like right by your waist. And the contouring is just so cute. I do roll these up, excuse my socks, I really can't be bothered putting ankle socks on so you can see the difference but I actually quite like this outfit as an outfit to go together, I think it's quite cute. Um, but yeah, I'll do a squat proof test. I'm wearing like, they're not exactly like light underwear either, they're like a dark bluey colour so definitely squat proof. But yeah, I just think they're really flattering on the bum, obviously because of the contouring. And yeah, massively, massively recommend these, this whole outfit really. And then they sent me the cycling shorts in a small and now the small does fit me on the waistband but like the bottom is just a bit tight on the legs but I don't suit cycling shorts anyway so I probably won't keep these in um, because like I said I didn't order them in my monthly box it was just an extra parcel monthly parcel off them I really like them like if you like cycling shorts if you suit them then please 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 do yourself a favor and go and get these they're just the material's amazing, the fit is amazing, it's just, I can't like rave about them enough, it's just such a shame that they don't suit me because I'm so short. Thought I'd show you the cycling shorts on me, I just don't think they suit my leg length, do you guys? Like, what do you think? What's your opinion? I think it's just because I'm so short, just feel like they look a bit funny. They do ever so slightly pinch my thighs at the bottom if you can see. Um, but these these are a size small so to be fair I'm happy with these like for the fit like I actually maybe would say a size small but as you can see the material again is only ever so slightly doing that so I definitely do need the size small because the waistband is fitting nicely um, but yeah I really really like the cycling shorts I kind of wish I suited them what do you what do you think like I think I need someone else's opinion. I don't know. What do you think? Because I'd probably wear these like this with these socks and say like, oh, say like a white t-shirt and white trainers. I just can't really tell if I like them or not. But yeah, I thought I'd show you them on anyway and these are the size small. Really cute. These as well will be squat proof. They're squat proof for me. I just think they snatch your waist in so nicely. Like, look at that. Proper, like, sucked in. Yeah, please comment below if you think these shorts suit me. I'm just so on the fence, like, am I too short for them? I've always told myself I was too short for them. But maybe I'm not. I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you think.
thing next. What have we got? Oh, let's get this out. Oh my God, this was just so soft. This is the Essential Hoodie. Now, when I was ordering this, look at that colour. I absolutely love that colour. And it's just literally got MP at the front. Now, this is a small. And I'm, okay, I don't know if I ordered the small or not, but I'm glad I got it because it's quite like oversized and um, you'll obviously see in the try on but I'm super happy with that I just thought for lounging about or as like an extra throw on piece really love that there's like obviously it's cuffed on the sleeves there's not really much to show you just because it's like an essential so it's quite basic but um I thought as well they'd go nicely with the like khaki curved leggings so I'll get that sorted with the size and anyway really nice it's a nice fit, it's fleecy inside, really soft, even the quality of the material on the outside is amazing. Um, it's definitely a thick hoodie, like it's not a lightweight hoodie for summer. Um, I've only got a sports bra on underneath and I'm quite hot so, oh my god, just get it for winter. Honestly, I absolutely love it, I really, I kind of just wanted to get it up now in all the other colours. Um, I really need that baby pink one though, and probably the rest of them. So they might feature in next month's haul. But yeah, highly recommend this. It's so, so nice, so comfy. This is the Power Crossback Sports Bra in the colour Brindle again, so the khaki colour. I love the Crossback Sports Bras. I think, like, they are more for aesthetics than, like, practicality, but if you're just doing weightlifting and weight training in them, it's absolutely fine. So it's just simple design. It's really hard to show you because it's, like, holding it up to the camera. But it's just, like, a scoop neck, and then at the back, the straps cross over you'll see obviously better in the try on but i got the size medium right yeah they've sent me the right size got the size medium and obviously how nice would that go with these leggings i really like that and it's just that can you see that mp at the bottom there it is a really comfy bra to be fair and it's like light to medium support i'd say i would never wear this for hip because there's no back so obviously it's not the best with support and this is the crossback sports bra this is probably my favorite bra ever the color is just amazing and it goes so nicely with these leggings so if you do want an outfit from this haul i'd say get these 100 percent. but it's just so comfy this is the medium it is slightly big for me slightly only because of the straps it's like like i said like to medium support um it does gape a tiny bit there but it's not really very noticeable just such a simple design, but um, really flattering. And there's the back. Just love it so much. So flattering, so open back. I just wouldn't wear it on a day where I've got hit or something like that. Um, some of it is mushy, like these straps here and this bit is like mesh. So it's just so breathable, honestly. But I highly, highly recommend this bra if you as long as it's not for like high intensity stuff and running. It's amazing. follow my instagram you'll know because i had so many messages i have it in two other colors and they've just brought out this other color oxblood it's like a burgundy purple deep purple wine color i haven't even said what it is it's the power long sleeve top and this and i got this in a size medium and this is just beautiful look okay the color is really not picking it bright it is like I'll obviously if you click the link you'll see the colour better but it isn't it isn't red the camera's showing it as red it is a deep purple it's really not picking it up at all it is like a burgundy purple wine purple it's annoying me that it's showing red on the camera because it's really not um but yeah it's just basic there's no thumb holes in these but it's like the stretch to these tops is incredible 
and then there's literally no back. So I'll try it on with that crossback sports bra. Um, they do do that sports bra in this colour. Um, I don't think I grabbed it um, just because I wanted to choose between the two. But next month I'll definitely get it. It'll match this top so nicely. But any, any, cross, any nice pretty sports bra underneath this will look amazing. Yeah, size medium like I said. And I have it in the black on the nude. And I wear them regular. So I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. It is just, it's just such a nice top. I wouldn't put it with this colour bra, I don't think it looks nice, but I just thought I'd show you like with a cross back so you could see. This is the bra that like obviously I had in this mince haul. Um, but yeah, it's really comfy, really stretchy. The only thing is the sides do do that, but like it, it isn't for practicality, do you know what I mean? It obviously is for looks. So all I, one thing I do know about this is not sweat proof, but I don't really care about that. And then that's the back. So, if I move that label out the way, like you can see, it just looks so nice with the cross back. Um, you can, with these cross backs, like you can like lower the cross. You try and do it. Okay, you can't do it. <laughs> you can like, if you pull them like that, it does lower the cross back bit a bit. You can pull it down, like you can kind of adjust it to wherever you want it to go. Um, but yeah, I just really like them. I definitely want the colour of this top in the crossbacks because I think that would look really, really nice. So this is the Dry Tech Oversized T-shirt. This is just to replace my Adidas T-shirt, is it? It's just a thin, lightweight material, plain black T-shirt. I got it in a size small. It was only, like, cheap. It's just a lightweight material. Do you know for days where... I might be doing hit or jumping around and that. I've got an Adidas one, but I've caught it on the Velcro in like on the box step ups and like on different things. So the material's just no good. Like I need to get rid. So it is literally, I can't describe to you. It's just so lightweight. Can you, can you see? Like you can, it's so sheer. Like it's literally just like meshy material. There you go. You can see like the dots like it's just a, such a lightweight material just to keep you cool but um i don't have enough long full length top so this is gonna be so good because there's just days where you just go to do a hip workout and you think i'm not doing that in a crop top do you know what i mean so yeah i can finally get rid of my adidas one they also do it in white so i'm gonna pick up the white next month if it's still available but they, yeah they're both very very cheap and for the quality, like it's the same materials you your Adidas and Nike, so just go for my protein. 100%, 100% recommend this. It's just nice, oversized, comfy, obviously going to be breathable because of the material. It's such good quality and for the price, it's probably one of my favourite things out of this haul. Um, I always like, if I've got a cardio, not cardio day, but a day I'm doing cardio on the treadmill, just throw this on or a HIIT workout, throw this on. It's just, it's going to be so practical. I know I'm going to get so much use out of it and I can't believe how cheap it is for the quality. It literally feels like my Adidas t-shirt, which I probably paid about £25 for. And this is only like, was it £20? And I think it's in the sale. It's in the sale. Like at this moment in time, it's only a tanner. And do you know what? I'm to just buy the white one before it goes out of stock. Um, but yeah, highly recommend this. It's literally just got... Can you see MP there at the bottom? That's it. That's literally it. You can barely even notice it. Obviously, if you wanted it a bit bigger, maybe size up. Because this, like if I wanted to cover my bum, I'd have to like pull it down. But I'd just wear it like that anyway. Okay, and then I got two more things. These are from the men's section. Never do I ever look in the men's section and I don't know why. Um, I got two t-shirts. They're both in the men's size small. So this is the washed embroidered logo t-shirt t-shirt in cantaloupe. Cantaloupe? I don't really know how to say it. They call their like colours really weird. Like brindle is just khaki or green, do you know what I mean? And like burgundy, that's ox blood, like they're a bit dramatic. But this is like a peachy colour. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's so simple. It's literally got MP stitched in there. Yeah, this is the size small, and obviously because it's men's. It's quite big. Oh, what's that? Oh, cute. It's just got MP at the bottom there as well. 
but yeah again this was for like oversized t-shirt days but i'm gonna put this on today i think just super comfy i just really liked it i really like the color and um it's just gonna be nice for lounging around in all those days where you just put on black leggings and need a really baggy baggy t-shirt this is the one this is definitely just gonna be my go-to i think i probably wear this like on a run to the shop am i allowed to do that i don't know but this is the circle graphic t-shirt in mint again size small this is another like nice summer color and again oversized for those hit workout days or just days to chill oh god this is so nice this one's a bit more not statementy but this has got a bit more detailing on it it's like some sort of coordinates and then mps in the middle again it's got that little square at the bottom with just mp but yeah i just thought you know do you know what grab some men's stuff because why not it is just what it is it's just oversized i don't think i'd wear it with these joggers these are from gymshark old collection by the way so you can't get them anymore um i'd just wear it like with black leggings and white trainers and just be like super comfy the only thing is, I think I'd roll up the sleeves a couple of times, just because my arms are so short, it doesn't look as good as what it could. Um, but yeah, like I said, oversized. And I don't see it being sweat proof, but it's not like right behind my armpits. So I think the sports bra would soak up the sweat and not the top. But yeah, it is just for that. And I'll probably end up sharing it with my boyfriend, to be honest. So obviously there are different designs to the different fits. And out of the two, I prefer this fit just because it is baggy around here um but like you can tie it up do you know what i mean if you did want to do it in a crop you could just tie it up so there may be days where i want to do that because the color is like so nice out of the two i do prefer this one because of the color as well but it literally only has the little logo down there like the mint one and then it's so simple it's just got mp there but like i said i'd roll up the sleeves with this one too just because it doesn't really suit my short arms again we'll would just do plain black leggings and white trainers or black trainers and just get a hit at workout in and then go home <laughs> but yeah this is like going to be quite comfy for loungewear as well like it is long enough it covers my bum so like if i wanted to i could wear it to bed you know just comfy clothes like that where you're still covered but you're still comfy so i highly recommend both of them really really comfy really oversized like i said i got a size small in both of the men's t-shirts and i'm a size 10 so they do do extra small but if i would have got an extra small it wouldn't have gone over my bin so i'm glad i went for the small um but both of them are classes an oversized fit anyway so you'd probably be okay with whatever size you got if i would have got a large it literally would have drowned me as always please subscribe and leave a like and comment down below if you have any questions please comment down below i do like get notifications quickly off of this so i do tend to get back to you as soon as i can so i hope you enjoyed the video and i will try and get some more varied content for you maybe i'm thinking like um a gym wear haul next of things that of my most used leggings if that's something that sounds good i don't know um but yeah comment below of any ideas that you want to see from me and thank you for watching and i'll see you next time